Hey guys, in this video, we are going to see how to fix WordPress redirecting to old domain after migration. So let's say you have your WordPress hosted on domain abc.com and some XYZ hosting services and you need to migrate your website to some other domain or some other hosting provider. So sometimes after migrating your website to new domain you might face some issues like you are not able to access your website your wordpress based website so in this video we will see four different methods that you can try or you can use to fix this issue okay so first of all first method is update the site address in wordpress settings so let's say you have this website which is already migrated on your a new domain this is localhost for now but you can consider it like xyz.com which is new domain and you can access wordpress admin but whenever you are trying to access your wordpress website it doesn't work in that case if administration is accessible you can go to settings and in settings you have general screen here you can find wordpress address and site address so make sure this WordPress address URL and site address URL both are same and it should be your domain name like localhost slash WP in this case. Okay. So once you uh, make sure that, that both the URLs are same, you need to save the changes and you can try to access your WordPress website. It should work. Okay, so make sure this WordPress address and site address are correct and same. Okay, the second method, if it is not working, try second method. So second method is not different one. Sometimes when you try to access WP admin, it doesn't work. Like it may go uh, in infinite loop or for some reason it doesn't work. It isn't working, for example. So in that case, what you can do, you can open your localhost slash php my admin your database so right now we have localhost and that's why i'm using localhost php my admin if you are uh, using or you are uh, having your live website then in that case you have to log in into your hosting provider and uh, you need to access php my admin from your cpanel okay so in this case we have this wordpress wp database name here you can find wp options as a table name click on that table then you will find multiple records so as you you were able to change this wordpress address and site url ultimately these values are there in database with these two option name the first is site url and home okay so let's say um, i'm not able to change because it will uh, stop the local host wordpress websites so let's say you have domain name let me edit and let's say you have domain name http abc.com so edit and go so once you change the site URL, please change this home option name with the same value. Okay. So right now, let me add it and change the value option value and go. So once I am changing this, my localhost will stop working. As you can see, right now, it will not work on localhost slash WP. Right. Because the site URL and home are not with localhost. So let me just copy this localhost slash WP is value. So and same as home value without slash and slash. So right now okay so this is second method 
it is exactly same as first method but when you don't have access to your wordpress dashboard you can try using database okay if still it is not working the database values are also correct and it is still not working you might need to flush dns cache on your pc so to do that you have to open your command prompt if you are using windows and type ip config config slash space slash flush dns and you can see windows ip configuration successfully flushed the dns resolver cache after that you should be able to access your wordpress to new domain okay and the last option after these three steps is use the seo plugin to perform full site redirect so there is one plugin called all in one seo plugin and using this plugin you can use you can force your website to redirect on specific domain so once you install this plugin there is a one a free version is also there once you install this plugin you will be able to find the option where you can enter the domain name and using that domain name you can just you, you just need to save that option and once you are done with that your website will redirect forcefully to that domain using this specific all in one seo plugin so there are four methods and i hope it it works for you when you are facing such issue and if you still not able to fix it please leave your comments below this video so i might will be able to help you okay guys so i hope you like this video and this video will be useful when you are facing such issues and if you are new to my channel please visit my channel there are more than 200 videos and most of the videos are based on css javascript there are few playlists on wordpress you can have a look there are a few playlists on wordpress css javascript and more so please subscribe to my channel and keep supporting see you next time around bye